lovely people. Welcome to Bongo's Rhythm Shack. So today, in this video, what we're going to look at is how we tune our guitars. So it's really important if you've never picked up a guitar before and uh, you're an absolute beginner, it's really important that your guitar is tuned correctly so that when you're playing along with other people, you're going to play the same chords and the chords that you play um, will sound the same as the other guys. So it's important that you tune your guitar up. Um, and there are different ways you can tune your guitar up. Let's have a look at that. So we've got, on the top of this guitar, I've got ele an electronic clip-on tuner. They're quite cheap. You can you can get these anywhere. Just check online, Amazon, anywhere at all. Any music shop online. They'll have a whole range, probably from about seven pounds upwards. Um, so you don't need anything crazy. You just need something that's going to work. So what you would do is you would clip that onto your headstock, and then you would switch it on usually you have to hold the power button down for just a second or two and it will power up and then whenever you play your strings or play through your strings starting with your bottom E or starting with the high E and working through you'll find that as you play it the needle will find the pitch of that string and if your string is in tune it will come up with E and the needle will be more or less in the middle sometimes between two little markers and it might in this case with this tuner it glows green I think I haven't sw switched it on but it glows green when it's tuned so you'll work through each string and you'll look at your tuner and when it's in the middle, between those two markers, showing you E, not saying E sharp or E flat, then you know your guitar's in tune, that string is in tune. Then you go down to the next string, if you're working from the low E to the, the, to the high E, you're working down that way. Or if you're working upwards, then you play the next string up. So we've done the low E, we then go to the A. And all you need to do is just play it once. You don't want to do this. You don't, you don't want to do that. Okay, you just want to play it once. Look at the tuner. See where the needle is going. And once it's in the middle, that will show you A. So that's another way you can learn the notes um, of your strings, the open notes of your strings. So that's the A. So next down will be the D. Do the same thing. Play it once. Let the tuner find that pitch of that string and it will tell you whether you're in tune or you're out of tune. Then you go down to the next one which would be your G. Same thing again, you'll watch your tuner, see where that indicator is resting, and that will let you know whether you're in tune or out of tune. You go down to the next string, which will be your B. Watch the needle, digital needle, how it's moving, and that will tell you whether you're in tune or out of tune on that B string. And then finally, you'll be on to the high E string, play it once as you've done with all the others, look at the needle how that is moving and that will tell you whether you're in tune or out of tune. Now if your guitar is out of tune then obviously you need to turn these tuning pegs the right one for that string that you've just played and if the needle is minus so if it's flat 
E flat then obviously you need to tune, turn your tuning pegs so that the pitch of your string goes up. You want to do it gently, okay, and just watch the needle until it's in the center. If the pitch of that string is an E sharp, then obviously you've got to tune down. But can I just say, it's probably better if you tune down and then tune up again. So don't tune down too to the, the E um, pitch, tune past that, come down, not too far though, and then just tune back up. And it might be a good thing if you do that with all your strings actually. If your strings are out, um, tune down and then just gradually tune up. That will take up any slack that's sitting around the, the nuts and uh, around your tuning pegs. It's just a good practice really. So that's that. Um, if you've never tuned your guitar before, uh, you're not really going to have you're not really going to have an idea of how it should sound. So maybe you bought a guitar pack, and they bundled a tuner in there with you, and possibly maybe there's a video that came with it or DVD. I mean, or you might want to look online and just look at some of the tutorials because if your ear is not trained, if it's not used to how your guitar should be tuned you could run the risk of just cranking it up to the point where you break a string um, so that's something I'm not able to show you in this video really in detail but that's something you want to look into um, so that you can learn how to tune up your guitar properly. So that's one way of tuning it up using a clip-on digital tuner. The way that I tune up my guitars um, is I have an app on my phone. So you can go to, you know, I've got an Android phone, so you just go to the Play Store or something like that and um, look at, look for guitar tuning apps and you know a lot of them will be free unless you want all the bells and whistles then obviously they're going to prompt you to pay for the pro version I've just kept with the free version and it works brilliantly um, look for one that's going to be pleasing to you and that your eyes can cope with and it's not going to be all like strobe lights kicking off in front of you but um, yeah so the one I've got I'm happy with it and it works every time so that's good if you have that because obviously you're going to have your phone with you more times than you're going to have a digital clip-on tuner I would have thought so get an app on your phone probably the best way to go if you know anybody at all who plays and they can teach you how to tune up your guitar that's a good thing to do as well okay um, your guitar does need to be in tune if you're going to jam in with the jam tracks that I've produced or play along with um, the videos that I'm doing. So um, what I will do is I will, just to give you an idea, oh the other thing I wanted to say, you can use a keyboard to train, uh, to tune your guitar up, but it, that will help to train your ear as well. The thing with the keyboard though is that you do need to know the notes on the keyboard and you do need to know um, which notes, like for instance if you're going to pick an E, you know that this is the, the low E, that's the bass E, but you've got to know where that is, that is situated on the keyboard so that you're not playing the wrong E and tune into that one otherwise you'll tune this up too high. So, if you have got a keyboard, uh, or somebody in your household plays a keyboard, then check out some YouTube videos and learn that way. And that will also help you, like I said, to train your ear so that your ear gets used to um, the notes of individual strings and also you get used to how they sound and that will make it easier for you to tune your guitar up. For many years I was always amazed at these musicians, you watch them 
professional guys and they'll be playing away and all of a sudden their guitar's out of tune and they just whack it in the tune and away they go and I'll be like, whoa, are they really doing that or are they just kind of showing a bit of flashy stuff going on there, I don't know. But actually I've seen them and seen guys live, you know, some guys I've been jamming with over the years and they literally just be playing and they just be like And then, bang, they're in. I did it a couple of times. I managed to do it, and I was so chuffed when I did it. I was just like, woo, I've just tuned my guitar. It wasn't bang on, but it was pretty close. Um, and the way that I did it, and it might be a good thing for you to do as well, is when your guitar is in tune, and you've tuned it up to the tune, and so you know it's in tune, just go down each string. And do that several times, maybe do that every time you pick a guitar, at least once a day. So you get to hear how those notes sit. And that will just form a little memory thing going on in your brain, so that when you do get to tune your guitar up, you're going to be more familiar with those sounds and maybe you might even get really clever one day and just be able to... I see guys doing that, they go... and then they're in. I think, wow, that's amazing. People can do it. So, it's all about training your ear and at least getting your ear used to hearing those notes. So that's it. So you can buy a digital clip-on tuner um, obviously you would need to make sure you've got some spare batteries or you know where to get the spare batteries they usually take those little tiny round ones the flat ones so if you do get a digital clip-on tuner they're going to be battery powered or you can download a free app onto your phone uh, a guitar tuner app and it's going to be as good to go anytime your phone's charged up so there you go. Um, or you can look online and back in the day we used to have pitch pipes. <laughs> I don't know if they still have them but you know that's what we used to have. So anyway that's the way that you can tune your guitar up and it's going to take some getting used to. It's not something that you're going to be um, familiar with straight away or confident in doing. If you haven't got a tuner and you are playing on your own like you're not playing with anybody else you're not following any tutorials you're not uh, jamming in bongos with them shaka anything like that and your guitar is out of tune there is a way that you can you can tune your guitar up so you need to learn how to do that but that is only going to tune your guitar up to itself so it's not going to um, you know, you won't know that you're actually tuned at what they call concert pitch so that you can play with other musicians. But it will tune up to the point where you can play through your chords. So you could sit there just playing away. And like I said, but you might not be in tune to the level where other musicians are going to be in tune with you. So get yourself a tuner, get yourself um, a phone app and learn how to tune up your guitar. Fantastic. So once you've done that, you'll be able to groove along with us in Bongo's Rhythm Shack and I look forward to seeing you in all the videos I'm going to be putting up of all the jam grooves that I will be creating and the fun that we are going to have. So, stay blessed. See you again. <laughs>